Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this monthly haul where I am going to let you know about all the things that I added into my collection the past month either through PR or stuff that I bought myself. We're just going to go through all of them. I'm going to give you my initial thoughts on them, show you some swatches if I have any and just like, I don't know, tell you what's been going on in August. Can you believe we're in September? I'm shocked. <laughs> I am on a somewhat unofficial low buy throughout this year. I think I started in October and it's basically not about me buying as little as possible. It's more about me wanting to spend less than I did before on makeup and beauty. This is my job though. This is my full-time job. I do review makeup um, as a job. So when I buy makeup, I buy it somewhat with a purpose that I want to review it for you. And for me, that is a business expense. But of course, the less I spend in my business, the more I can keep for myself. And in the future, I would like to buy a home for me and my husband so I'm just trying to be a little smarter so that I at least do not buy stuff that I end up not having time to review that is my main goal because if I buy it to review it and then not end up reviewing it because I bought too much or didn't have time then that's just money wasted and that is what I'm trying to to avoid. So at the end of this video, I will be talking about how much I spent myself on makeup and beauty this month, and I will compare it to how much I spent on makeup and beauty in August, and hopefully the number in August 2023 is going to be lower than the number of August 2022. So we're starting out with the things that I bought myself. So one of the things that I bought myself is the Natasha Nona I Need a Nude Palette. I bought myself this palette. I think I bought it at Sephora, but if you want to get some money off, you can buy it at the Natasha Nona website, and you can use the code NGSK and get 15% off. That code works pretty much all the time, unless you want to uh, wait, of course, until like the Sephora VIB sale. If you are a rouge at Sephora, you can get 20% off at Sephora. But yeah, I did buy this palette myself. I am really enjoying the quality of this palette, but of course I knew going into this that this wasn't going to be my favorite color story. I'm a person who loves color. This is colorful for me, like it's red, it's orange, it's yellow. We're going to be talking about what I'm having on my eyes and on my lips a little further into the video, but I like the quality of this palette. I think the quality is really beautiful. Is this my favorite color story? No. Is this going to be my favorite Natasha Nona palette regardless of the quality? No. I just like something with more color. I love the Yucca palette. I think it's absolutely stunning. This one has equally as good quality according to me. It's just not the color story that I'm going for. But if you want to see more about this palette, if you want to see two looks, if you want to see this compared to the Glam palette and also to the Mini Starlet palette, I would definitely suggest checking the video out where I do like two looks with this palette because I talk a little bit more about like the similarities and stuff like that. That video will be linked down below and I will link all the things that I'm talking about in this video in the description box. My links may be affiliated. So if you do shop through my links, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I do earn a small commission. I also have my discount codes down below and I do mark with a little star behind if I receive the product in PR. And if you don't see a star, it means that I bought the product myself. I also did stock up on the Batiste Volumizing Dry Shampoo. This is an empty. <laughs> This is an empty because I actually started using the one that I bought because I knew I was low on this one. I really do like this one, but I have realized this past month that I am... I love this one for when I'm doing like today. I have it in my hair today because I knew I wanted to do an updo, but I am missing a like a dry shampoo that doesn't have the volumizing things in it for when I just want to freshen up my roots but have my hair out. Because I don't love the volumizing aspects of this product when I want to have my hair out and like down. So I'm going to actually buy another one of this without the volumizing because I really do love the Batiste one. I'm just realizing that I don't always want the voluminizing because it gives the hair a little bit of grit which is lovely, but not always. I also bought another repurchase, and this one is still in the plastic, and this is the Juvia's Place Nubian Lash Kush. So this one is actually the lash I have on my eyes today, but I have used this lash so many times, like at least 15, and it's still going strong, but sooner or later, I'm gonna have to replace it, and I love it so much, so that when I made an order from Ulta, I decided to put this one in as well. You can see that this is a full strip lash, but I'm wearing it as a half lash, so I do end up cutting off 
like the inner third of the lash I would say and just put it on the outer two thirds of my lid to create this like half lash moment and I think they're absolutely beautiful you can find them at Ulta and also in store and they're like affordable if you're ordering from Juvia's Place you can use my code Angelica and you can get some money off which is great if you want to order more than one thing from Juvia's Place because then you can order from the site and hopefully get some free shipping as well another thing that I bought uh, well I bought two more things from Juvia's Place from Ulta and I bought the new bronzer and I bought the new lip oil I've actually used this bronzer quite a bit and I have during the time that I've used it changed my mind about it I'm gonna have a ranking where I'm ranking and reviewing uh, products and some of the products that I'm mentioning in this video is actually going to be featured in that video because I've used them so much that I already could give my opinion about them this bronzer is one of them I got it in honey and it has a lot of sparkle in it you can see that that sparkle and um, I'm gonna elaborate a little bit more on how I feel about this bronzer in that review section that's coming, I think Thursday it's coming. Also tomorrow, by the way, I'm, this is going up on Monday, tomorrow I'm gonna do live. I haven't done a live on my channel in quite a bit. I'm gonna put up a prompt on my channel where you can like just be notified when I'm going live, but I'm gonna do a live tomorrow on my channel, not just for members, but for everyone. So if you're interested in catching a live, that is gonna be tomorrow just put it in your calendar in case you're interested but yeah I do really like this bronzer on my cheeks but I cannot use it anywhere else because then the glitter becomes very visible and not in a good way the lip oil I've only used twice so I don't really have an opinion formed on this one yet but it, I wish it smelled more because this one is called sweet orange and there is a little orange but I, I do wish that like there would have been a little bit more orange for it to be called sweet orange because like they're named after different fruits and it's so faint. I do wish there was just a little bit more since they're named after fruits. I did actually buy and I'll talk about that in a bit. I bought the new foundation from Smashbox and the new concealer from Smashbox. I have yet to try this foundation. I haven't gotten to it yet. We will get to it. This is the always on. I think I got a shade that's too dark for me, which is funny because I'm wearing a foundation today that we're going to be talking about as well. I'll, I'll mention that after that is in a medium. This one is in a light and it is way darker than the medium. So I'm like, can we agree a little bit on what's a light and what's a medium? Because this is a light and I got a medium and this one is darker than the medium. So I think that this is going to be too dark for me. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll be by the pool a little bit this weekend and I can try it out next week I don't know but I bought these because Smashbox said they were gonna send me some PR but then they ended up not sending me PR so I was like and which is not a problem like I don't have any problems with that but since I was making an order from Ulta I was like let me just buy these then I'll buy them myself I want to try them but since then I actually did get I actually did get some PR from uh, Smashbox which included one of these products so we'll talk about that in a little bit but so far I haven't tried the foundation but I will I will the concealer so far I think it was okay, but same here. It's a little dark, which is crazy because it's a light. And it's just, it is a little crazy because very rarely am I even a light in a foundation shade because I am not fair. I don't have fair skin. I am usually a light medium. And when I tan a lot during the summer, sometimes in some foundation shades, because I do tan easily, I do go into the medium in the foundation ranges. So for me to buy a light and it's too dark for me, it's unusual for me oh I did buy this one you know what I, I walked home from my nail salon I do my nails at a salon I really really like this pattern I have going on and I was so warm it was way over the hundreds and I was like why did I decide to walk home because it was like a 40 45 minute walk I was like this is a bad idea but I passed a CVS and I was like let me go get a drink and then I remembered that I wanted to get this foundation which is one of my absolute favorite foundations I have a top three in every category that went up on my channel I think like two weeks ago and I mentioned the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Makeup Combination Oily Skin and I mentioned that the one I have is just one shade too light for me during the summer so I bought one that's a little darker I got it in 330 and it's like I I don't know if this is going to be the right shade I'm a little unsure I was just that you know how hard it is to find the right foundation when you're at a drugstore the lighting is a little weird I was just so warm and I was like yeah this is this is probably fine I don't know but I got another shade I really love this foundation I'm excited to have another shade but at the same time I'm like I don't know if this is the correct one. Here's something that I bought. I actually ordered this from 
Oh, we're going to talk about the foundation. We'll do that soon. But I've ordered uh, from About Face and I only bought two things and I've been trying these out a bit. These are the About Face lip liners in Shameless and Incinerate. And I also bought the gloss in uh, Bitter Half. They released this like neutral collection and I wanted to try it out. And I will say, I think the formula is okay. The thing that I don't love about this gloss is that it is a hint too pigmented for my liking but i didn't think it was like sticky or goopy or anything like that it's just that i like a gloss that has a little bit of transparency and for me this was just a hair too pigmented but honestly there's like nothing wrong with the quality i just i don't know i've been using this lip liner a lot it's actually a really nice yellow leaning uh almost like a i don't want to say peach because there is almost a little yellow in there but i think these are nice were these the best purchase i've ever made no but they did like quiet down my curiosity so i guess that was something okay let's talk about the foundation i'm wearing it today this is the rem foundation and this is in medium to neutral which is a really good shade match but i do have to bronze just a smidgen right now because i am very tan right now i am pretty much the tannest i'll ever be because i've been out in the sun a lot you can see my shoulder today but as tan as i am now it's probably like the most tan i'll get and the medium to neutral is just a smidgen too light for me but it shows that it's probably going to fit me throughout bigger parts of the year and i really do like this foundation i do have to set it down though because otherwise it's just it's not sticky and it's not greasy but it has a little bit of almost like moisture to it like when i touch it it feels like i put on a moisturizer and it doesn't 100 percent set down on me i'm 39 i have oily combo skin so for me i set this down with powder and it actually looks and wears fresh like this for a really long time this is the third time i'm wearing the foundation and you know what it looks great on camera it looks really nice in real life as well it is a medium leaning towards a full coverage so it looks a little little makeup -y in real life but not like cakey but it definitely looks like makeup like it's not like anyone would be like oh your skincare routine is amazing no someone will ask you what's that foundation that looks amazing but so far i'm pretty impressed with this one I think it works and looks great. I'm more impressed with this one than I was with the concealer. That concealer did not work on my somewhat aging under eyes. I'm wondering if it's like my Sephora order that is left and then maybe we can talk about some other things and then we'll go into my Sephora order. This is something that I'm actually wearing today. I don't think I've talked about this on my channel. I've been using it off camera and I don't know why I haven't included it in any of my videos, but this is the Bubble? Bubble? Bubble, 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 bubble. <laughs> Nobody can take me seriously. But they did a collaboration with Rudy Berry, I think. And I heard about this on Kaki's channel. And I've also heard about this from Kelly Gooch. And they've been using this um, freckle pen. And this is, I think it's just called the freckle pen. Berry freckle pen, yeah. So I don't follow Rudy Berry, I will say, but what I really like about this freckle pen is that first of all, it has a warm undertone, so it just translates really well on the skin. And for me, I have warmer beauty spots on my face, so I feel like it just blends in beautifully with what I have already. Am I a pro at making freckles? No, but I do think that this product really helps with creating something that looks a little bit more believable. It's also very liquidy, so when you put it on the skin, let me just you can see it's very liquidy and you can move it around and shear it out and it just looks fairly believable even for someone who's not good at freckles like i am and it has like a i think you can see it has like a ball tip which also helps with creating things that doesn't look too strokey or pointy or pokey so overall i'm very impressed with this product i think that someone that is good at freckles and loves freckles obviously had a lot of say into this product so i enjoy it i enjoy buying it and i've enjoyed using it so yeah if you're looking for a freckle product i do think that so far this has been the most fail proof one i've used and i did make an order and i did talk about that in my new makeup releases last week that i did make an order from makeup revolution to buy a couple of the grease items so i bought three of them and you are going to be seeing this in i think wednesday's video i'm going to be doing a video where i try some new makeup and i'm either going to be using the smashbox foundation or i'm going to be using a sample that i got i don't know if i probably when you're seeing this video i've already filmed that video so i'm not going to be able to get your 
thoughts on it but i'll just pick whatever i feel like that day but i did buy three of the items let me see if i can get this tape off three of the items from the makeup revolution and grease collab and i was super excited about this collab because i did tell you that i used to love grease when i was a kid i used to watch it every weekend for a long period of time and when i saw that they released the collection i'm not the kind of person that wanted to buy everything but i definitely wanted to buy some of the things and this is the Risso cream blush so I bought the Rizzo Cream Blush. It is like a warm pink, and I think that this pink might work on me because it's it doesn't seem to be too, too white-based. So I am excited to be trying this one out. I also bought the Sandy Lipstick, and on the website, let me show you how this one looks. On the website, this almost looks a little orangey. Look at that here compared to the website. I don't hate this warm pink shade, but it's not what I thought it was going to be. I'll still try it out. I really like the chrome pink packaging i think that's super cute but yeah the color is a little misleading and i will say this is not the first time that makeup revolution is having questionable product photography but do with that information as you will and this is the t-birds rock and roll t-birds palette so this is the eyeshadow palette that i chose to buy i can get rid of this packaging again i'm not the person that saves packaging i know some people do did i just did you just hear that sound it was like a pile of like you know, trash just spreading over the floor. It's, it's, it's been a rough couple of days. So this is what the palette looks like. I really like that they, because this is a weird shape, but it's still small. It's not too weird. It will be easy to store. It's very slim and thin. And I like that they did the jacket. So I decided to buy the one that had the black one, because I was thinking this is probably going to be the one that is the most appealing to me, because I like there was a matte purple and a black. And I was like, I'll do something purpley and we'll see what the quality is. I've been wanting to try eyeshadows from Makeup Revolution for quite some time since they let people know that they will try and incorporate the BH Cosmetics formula into their brand. And I just want to see if that has happened. Okay, let's get into my Sephora order. I did make, I think that this is maybe two Sephora orders, but less of the things are here I bought from Sephora. And when I did make my order from Sephora, I actually usually do not, ex like I say no to any samples. I look at the samples and I usually say no. Unless it is, I did get the Aqua Di Gio by Armani. I got that sample for my husband because he loves that perfume. And I was like, hey, now you can get a small one. You can bring this one if you're going overnight or something like that. It's all, I mean, it's a per perfume that we know that he likes. I also said yes to this one. This is the Glossier New Stretch Foundation. And they sent me a card with six different shades. Wow. Yeah, it's really hard to count to six people. But it's the very deep four, deep four, medium tan three, medium four, light one, and very light one. And I'm thinking if I'm mixing these two, the medium and the light, I will probably get a shade that I can use, right? Doesn't it look like a mix between these two will be a shade that I can use? So I thought that then we can like try the stretch uh, foundation and see if, if it's like nice or not. Because I will say that tint from Glossier that is just skin colored water it did nothing for me i honestly think that it's like just effort effort for nothing for me i could just do nothing and just save some time and money i just it was for me it's too little it's too little i'm i don't dislike my face without makeup i might as well just not wear makeup and save the money but this foundation, I think it's supposed to have a little bit more coverage. So we're going to try it out. I have this uh, sample and this is what I'm saying. Either that one or the Smashbox one. We'll see how I feel when I film that video. Honestly, I did buy this one and this one has been a little bit of a disappointment so far. And this is the Glazed Skin Sheer Finishing Powder in Medium from Melt. So I have used this now uh, three times since I um, did that video. I tried a little bit on today, but then I covered it up with another highlighter because I don't like this one. For me, this has a very almost pearly cool tone sheen that when the light is not hitting it it gives my skin a little ashy undertone the first time i used this i used it together with more a cool tone contour and of course they both together just created something very ashy on my skin but then i used it yesterday together with a warm bronzer which is my favorite bronzer let me show you i actually just hit pan on it today it's the fenty beauty bronzer look at that so this one is in Private Island, and you can see this is a warm golden one. So I used this bronzer, and then I used this finishing powder on top of it, 
and it still gave me that gray cast. And that tells me that it is the powder. It is giving a little bit of a gray cast. So I think that if you have a very warm or very golden undertone, I think that this one will just give a little bit of a gray cast, which is a shame because I thought that this one was gonna work like the NYX Glass Skin Powder. But this one just looks a little bit ashy on my undertone. I know my friend Heather Austin loves this powder, but I also think that I have a more golden undertone than she has. I think she has like an olive warm undertone and that might be why it doesn't give that same cast on her. So I will say proceed with caution. Maybe swatch it in store and see how you feel before you commit to it because for me, this wasn't perfect. I also bought the new concealer by Makeup by Mario and this is a long hair. That's mine. I can't blame the cats. I bought mine in 180 and you know what I really liked? They had this almost like helper on Sephora where it's like if you're this shade in the foundation you will be this shade in the concealer and I actually even though I didn't love the foundation I did love the shade of it so I actually got the concealer that was the corresponding shade to the foundation and you know what? It was a good match. I'm wearing this concealer today. I really do like it but I will say I have to be a little bit careful if I use too much of this concealer concealer and it will look a little cakey with the powder but I'm wearing it today and I think it looks really good so I am much much preferring this one over the foundation it is a very light almost serum gel like formula that is like easy to blend out and doesn't feel thick under the eyes but if you end up using just a little bit too much it can have the tendency of looking just a little bit too thick on my getting into somewhat uh, aging under eyes. So I do like this concealer. I don't like it as much as I like the Huda one, but I do think it is a really nice one. It does have coconut in it though. And I think some people have told me about that. I do not have problems with acne. I do not get breakouts. Uh, my skin very rarely re reacts to anything. But if you do, like, if your skin reacts to coconut, just know that there is coconut in this one. So I'm just letting you know, if your skin reacts to stuff like that, maybe avoid this one. I also bought this one and th this isn't for me. This is the plumping uh, lip balm by Give Beauty. I really enjoy Give Beauty, especially the lip product, but this one is a very hurting plumping lip balm. So if you like those that you can really feel the tingle on your lips and you want to try a balm instead of a gloss, this will be perfect for you. But if you're like me and you only like the cooling plumping one or the ones that have a very mild tingle this won't be for you there's nothing mild about this one it's 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 really tingly in a, according to me pretty hurtful way i also got the glowish little quad this is uh, the huda beauty uh, sister brand i got the green one i used this in a video and overall i am fairly impressed with this quad i'm not impressed with the color selection i think the two green mattes are beautiful but i honestly think that these two colors here just muddy up this palette and just makes it look a little bland honestly but again this comes from someone who loves contrast, who loves colors. So if you are not that person, you might look at this and be like, no, 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 those two were needed definitely, just from my perspective. Overall, I was fairly impressed with the quality though. I think that they worked fairly good and I do have a video where I'm using this one. I also bought a second shade of the Bare Minerals highlighting blushes. I will also be talking a little bit more extensively about these in Thursday's video. I think that these are really nice. Now I have one of the lightest one in Peach Glow and I have one of the darkest one in Mauve Glow. And I will say the darker ones do have a little bit more base color than the lighter one. But these are neither a super pigmented blush or a very highlighty, like a blinding highlighter. They're like if you combine the two and it becomes a subtle blush with a more subtle, believable glow, which I think is really pretty. But just know that these aren't a very pigmented blush and they aren't a super blinding glow. But if you like something more subtle, wearable, I hate the term wearable, but you know where I'm getting with it. Just something that is there, but not in your face. I think you will really enjoy these because I think the quality is beautiful but just know that when they say highlighting blush it's more like they mix them together to get 50% 50% it's not a 100% highlighter and 100% blush it's more of a subtle thing. This is one of the samples that I have tried on my channel and I liked it so much that I ended up getting the full size. So this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I got it in Punjab, which somewhat is my shade over at NARS. I will say I think the Punjab in this one is a little bit more yellow golden than the Punjab in the... 
that glowy foundation that I got that I love, but it really works out for me. I think this is a beautiful foundation. It is very much full coverage. So if I want a full coverage matte foundation that doesn't look too, too cakey or heavy, I really do enjoy this one, but I have to be in the market for a full coverage because it definitely is but if you have oily skin and you want to get a full coverage that lasts throughout the day without being too thick or too heavy or too cakey i would definitely recommend this one okay last thing that i bought at sephora and that is the fenty beauty ease drop uh, or like ease foundation stick i don't think it's called a drop but it's the ease foundation stick love it love it i think it's beautiful it is blurring it glides on the skin it's easy to blend out you can even use your fingers it doesn't break up on my skin and it doesn't get super oily but it definitely isn't as mattifying as the liquid version so i think that this will work for even more skin types than the liquid version but i also think it's so easy like if you could put this in your bag and if you feel like you have oily skin like me and it wears off a little bit around your nose all you have to do is blot take a little bit with your finger just dot and you're done it looks perfect so does the longevity of this live up to the longevity of the other one no but it just looks so skin like this is the kind of foundation it has a light to medium coverage this is the kind of foundation that when you use it people might ask you about your skincare and not your foundation and i love that last thing we're going to mention that i bought myself is my scentbird of the month i do have scentbird myself i sometimes work with scentbird and they send me scents but i also have a subscription myself and this is the scent that i'm getting each month and i do include the cost of scentbird into the cost that i'm spending each month because i love perfumes i think they're amazing i've talked about this on my channel before i love fruity scents but i want the fruity scents to not be too gourmand i don't want the too much of the vanilla, pralines, sugar. I want them to be fresh. I've said that. I want fruit salad. I don't want fruit cake. This one is fruit salad or even like fruit drink, like a tropical drink. This is the Joe Loves, which is the brand that Joe Malone started after she sold Joe Malone to Estee Lauder. So this is Joe Malone's new brand. This is the Joe Loves Mango Thai Lime. This is golden mango, lime, black pepper, and mint leaves. This is very much, it almost punches you in the face with lime in the beginning. It's just so limey. It's so lime. And then if you let it rest for a couple of minutes, you will feel that fresh mango and the mint. And it just is like a mango mojito with a little bit of the, that almost... I don't want to say bitterness, but there's a little bitterness almost from the black pepper and the mango skin. And it is incredibly fresh, incredibly wonderful. This is the most amazing daytime going on a tropical vacation kind of a scent. It just makes me happy. This is, this is the summer scent to build memories around. But if you don't love lime and you don't love very zesty, fresh, fruity, in-your-face scents... You won't love this. I also will say the longevity is not amazing, but that also makes it really great. I've actually used quite a lot of this one. You can bring this in your purse, which is what I will be doing. I actually booked a vacation for me and my husband for Christmas, and I feel like this will be a great one. Me and my husband need some time away. There has been a lot of things going on, both that you know about and things that you don't know about. I will hopefully be talking about them in the future, but we need some time off. So I booked a very tropical thing for us to do for Christmas. I'm super excited and this would be the perfect scent. I also wanted to quickly mention, because I probably will be talking about some of these products. I have them here. I got a package from a fellow creator over at Instagram, uh, Beauty B Billy, I think, or Billy B Beauty. I'm so sorry if I'm one of the two. <laughs> one of the two i'm so sorry that i am getting everything confused i will link him down below i've sent him a package and he's sent me some stuff so i'm super excited to be diving in i know i used this in a video this is the um is it trixie right 
Trixie Cosmetics, I think the Sunset Tina Cream Bronzer. So we've just been sharing some stuff with each other that we've gotten either duplicates of or stuff that doesn't like fit our skin tone. So I'm super excited that I have some stuff here. So I will be trinkling them into uh, through different videos and you definitely should go and check out his Instagram. Now we're gonna get into PR, stuff that I've gotten in PR. If I have any thoughts to share about any of these things, I will share the thoughts. If I don't have any thoughts, we'll just move on. If there's something that I haven't tried and you would love to hear my thoughts about, please let me know down in the comments. Most of these things I have tried and done videos about, but if there's something that you would like me to dive into more or something that you would like to see more a like a dedicated review or hearing my thoughts about, do let me know down in the comments because I do use these videos not only to share thoughts about these things and give you some initial reviews about them, but also to gather your thoughts about these so that I can see which ones you are the most interested in. Let's start with talking about the collab that Ofra did, she's upside down. Girl, you're upside down. The collab that Ofra did with my friend Ali Dawson. Actually, when you're seeing this video, I am about like packing my stuff and heading to Orlando to meet Ali. I'm so excited to be meeting Ali. So excited that we're going to Disney together with some other friends. It's gonna be so much fun. And I am wearing this collection today. And you know we had like an on and off relationship with Ofra. And I still am at the point where I would love them to just make a statement, like something, like where are you at? Because I do know that like they've been trying to make amends and like get rid of people and change things behind the scenes and donating money. And it's like, I would just like to get something, like a statement, like where are we at? But this is the palette that Ali did. And of course I'm gonna be supporting my friend, like I love Ali, she deserves all the good things in the world to happen to her. And I really think that she was able to capture fall in this falling in love palette and, and two lippies. I'm wearing both of the lippies and the eyeshadow palette on my eyes. I did film a reel and the reel should be live. It should be live. So I will link that as well down below where you can see like me doing this look. And these are the lippies. I will say the lippies, this color, such a beautiful color, both the liquid lipstick and the, the, she did so good on these colors. They're really pretty. So I will leave some info about that down below. I also got this one. I got this actually yesterday and I've heard my friend Heather talk about this and how much she enjoys it. So I'm super excited to be trying. Or did she enjoy it? Or did, am I making this up? I'm not hundred percent sure. They did send me another one of these uh, like lip masks. I think I'm going to be giving this one away overnight lip pump because I have one already like I have one here in front of me like I have more than one like I, I don't need another one so this one will be going in a giveaway I'm gonna have a bunch of giveaways uh, later on uh, so keep your eyes open for that and then it is the forget the filler skin plumping line smoothing perfecting cream so there is a spatula here and I am literally unpacking this for the first time because I got this late last night and have not tried it I've not done anything Hydrating, plumping, smoothing. I'm so intrigued. Huh. Ooh, she's pink. Just smells like very faint ingredients. I think that this is meant to be after two months of use, applied twice per day on 26 volunteers, uh, clinically tested to show invisibility, skin lifting, uh, reduce skin roughness, reduce wrinkle depth. Oh, there's so many things. Okay. It's supposed to be like it's the smoothing lifting cream. Visibly skin plumping and line smoothing face cream. A deeply moisturizing soft velvet cream texture. Ideal for use under makeup. Okay. I mean, that's intriguing. That is intriguing. I got a little bit on my thumb. We'll try it out. Listen, I'm like Samantha in Sex in the City. I'll try anything once. I also got these and I've heard some mixed reviews about these. These are the Merit Cream Eyeshadows. So they sent me two shades uh, and I have not done anything with these because honestly, I mean, I thought the whole marketing for this was just, can I get this out? Was just a little stupid. It was just like, we are reinventing the eyeshadow and it's like, it's a cream eyeshadow. I'm gonna need everyone to just simmer down. So I have this dark uh, brown that's called uh, Brun. That's how we would say it in Swedish. I don't think this is a Swedish name, but like brown in Swedish is Brun. So it's, is it Brun? I have no idea. This one is Viper and it's the greeny one. So uh, I also got this brush from them that I honestly, for me, this is a no-go as a brush because it is so short. I don't love short handles, but I know some people love it. It also is, <laughs> on the floor hold 
it also is dual sided so i mean for me this is just i i want to be holding the brush here but then i'm like holding the tip of the other brush so it is just yeah for me, I don't like a sh short handle like this, but that's a personal thing. But I do think that this side will be perfect for blending out the cream shadow. I'm guessing this is like a liner thing then. You know what? Maybe I'll do a reel. Maybe I'll do something to just see how these work out. I like the packaging of them, but like, it's just a cream eyeshadow. They didn't reinvent the wheel. I also have a big box here and I'm just gonna be carrying this out. This is a bunch of makeup from brands that I really don't hear a lot of things about. So I did a full video about like trying brands that nobody talks about. So this is Seattle London, Latte London, Iconic London, and Jensa. So I got a bunch of PR from them and I'm just not gonna be like talking about it here, but if you're interested in it, I will link that video down below in case you wanna see more about these brands there were some winners there were some losers but yeah i did get a bunch of pr from them so just know that that's here as well i also got two things sent to me from florists i did use this palette in the video where i was trying the Ooh. oh the rem foundation that i talked about it's a beautiful palette it's really really pretty it is i've said this before i feel like florists both price tag wise and also formula wise it's more in the luxury makeup department not always the most pigmented it's more about like almost a gleamy satiny finish i think they make really like high quality makeup but it's not indie feeling you know the difference between like feeling like luxury makeup and feeling like indie makeup this is more in the luxury makeup department but i mean it's pretty and the packaging is stunning they also sent me this powder this is the gorgeous peach blossom powder i think i might be giving this one away just because i have so many powders that i'm using the packaging is beautiful though this is the powder right here that is a good color though it's a number seven rosy is this not darker than any color you've ever seen from florists huh okay that is a little impressing actually i do have a couple of palettes here this is the uh, ghost town usa it's the golden grit palette by nomad cosmetics it looks a little bit like this. I did do a dedicated video on this one. I did two different looks in case you were interested in hearing more about this. I do have a code with some of these brands and I will pop it up on the screen. I will also put it down in the description box. But this palette right here is live right now in case you were interested. It's a newest palette from Nomad. So far, I really enjoy it. I've only used it twice for two different looks, but I think that they are able with this palette to make their shimmers a little easier to pick up. Like the shimmers are not as hard pressed in this one as they had been in some palettes on and off. So I'm really excited to see that. We also have the Blend Money Cosmetics Forget Me Not palette. This is the versatile eye and face palette. For me, a person who doesn't contour and that doesn't do neutral eyeshadows, this isn't my perfect palette. I'm going to be honest. This is for me a neutral slash cool tone eyeshadow palette because I don't like cool tones on my skin. And some of these shades are a little bit more warm toned, but more on the red side than necessarily the yellow side. And I, like I think I mentioned in this video, is a little bit more on the golden side. So none of these shades are really a shade that's gonna not look cool tone on me. And I want something that's not red and not cool tone. I think the quality is really beautiful though. And there's nothing wrong with this palette. I just don't think that this palette is like right for me, which happens sometimes. I mean, I love uh, Blend Muddy Cosmetics and not everything is, like, can be like made for me. I also have this palette here from Colourpop. There was a full collection. There was two Super Shock shadows as well. They're swimming around in my collection here somewhere. This is the Rock On palette. I did do a video where I was using this palette and honestly, I think it's a really nice nine pan palette. If you want to get something that's like red, and neutral going from dark to light in both like shimmer and mattes and honestly i think the variation of this one is really nice what i don't appreciate though is that there has been a lot of pictures showing this palette as almost like an orange palette and according to me this palette is red and brown i don't think that there is oranges in this palette this is a bronze this is a brown this isn't orange i also seen pictures where like these look orange and I'm sorry, I don't think they look orange. So I will say, take that into consideration when you look at pictures of this one. On some pictures, it looks very orange, and I don't think it is. I think it is a brown terracotta red. I don't think there are any oranges in this one. I also have some makeup here from Dots Cosmetics. Is it Dots Cosmetics or Dots Makeup? I'm not 100% sure 
sure the dots okay so it's called the dots i have two palettes here this is an indie brand from poland and they make single eyeshadows that you can either buy already in palettes like this one this is the celavi palette but you can also they have a palette making tool where you can build your own palette using shades if you want to do something smaller as well like here we have like a six pan so you can make your own six pan with your, your six favorites and i'm guessing they're gonna expand and just like add more colors with time because i do have some of their newer colors here as well and these were the original colors that came out so if you're living in the eu and you want to try like a maybe an indie brand from inside the EU, this could be a good one. So she's a viewer of my channel and asked if she could send me some, and I was like, yeah, sure. So these are the new shades. These are pastel duochromes. So there are five new shades that you also then can choose and in the palette builder little thing. If you like building your own palettes, maybe check out their website for sure. I'm super excited to see what else they have in the future. I have not had time to use these yet. Let me know what you would like me to do. Include them in a get ready with me, maybe. I will say these pastel duochromes look very yummy. I think that this collection collaboration might already have been like, I don't want to say discontinued, but like they're no longer selling it. But this is the collaboration between Finding Ferdinand and Khaki. Khaki reviews here on YouTube. They did a collection with six different uh, blushes. Let me see if I can like actually show you. So here you can see the blushes, the three different coral ones. Some are like, they're light to dark for different skin tones and three different more in, like reddish nudie ones. Again, going from a light to a more a darker one. Uh, this one is the one that I used in a video. This is Olay. And it comes in a little pot like this. Who Mine seem a little weird in consistency, but it's because the postman left them in the sun, so they were melting a little bit, but they're back to solid now. You can see they are back to solid. This is a very beautiful, sheer, glowy blush that doesn't stay tacky on the skin, but it also doesn't dry down to a powder finish. So it has a little bit of a glow to it in the formula. And I will say I was very impressed with how this one held up, even though it is a dewy, glowy formula. It didn't break off my makeup. It didn't transfer everywhere. My hair didn't stick to it, even though it looked very fresh and dewy on the skin, which I appreciate because again, I do have oily combo skin. And the last thing I need is something that looks greasy on the skin. That's just going to break down everything. So they're breaking down both from the outside and inside. And then they're just like meeting in the middle, my oils and this one, but I didn't feel like this formula did that. So I don't know if you're able to get a hold of these um, anymore. I thought the collection was really, really beautiful. There's also a lip gloss in here. That's a limoncello, sparkling limoncello, because it is a light gold gloss and it smells like limoncello, which is really, really lovely. I, like I said before, love the scent of citrus, but I did hear that she was maybe doing some more blushes for the future. So keep an eye open for that, I guess. I will say I do like the formula. So if they release more colors in this formula, I, I definitely think that you should try it out in case what I described sounds like something you'd like. I did receive a little package from Bobbi Brown as well, but I don't really know if they know who they're sending makeup to because they sent me three of the shadow sticks in three neutral colors. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. I might save this one though. This one is in cashew because it is, I think I could use this as an eyeshadow stick. Uh, but the other ones are shimmery and I'm like, I don't... I don't do stuff like this. They did last month send me that skin um, tint that I'm still trying out. So far, so good. I just need to try it a little bit more. And I also got a mini of the vitamin enriched face base, but they just sent me a big one. So like, I don't need a small one as well. So that PR package was just a little bit mystifying to me, but he here we are. I also got them two PR packages from Bumble and Bumble. This is the Seaweed Air Dry Cream. And this is a lightweight leave-in conditioner and styling cream that gives your hair hold and all day hydration. I have used this one in my hair when there, it's like damp and then like let it dry or either um, blow dry my hair. And I will say it does make your hair it gives it a little bit more substance because I have a very, very fine hair and I do feel like it gives my hair a little bit more substance so that it doesn't get too like airy and frizzy and it just makes my hair feel really nice. I'm going to ask my husband that has very 
thick, wavy, some parts even more coarse hair. Try this one as well and see how he feels about it. But on a finer hair, it definitely works. They also sent me the Hairdresser's Invisible uh, UV Heat Protectant Primer, which is very exciting. I just got this the other day. I have not tried it yet, but this is a sublime pre-styler for total transformation for to dry to very dry hair. I do not have very dry hair, but I do have uh, I bleached my hair like I do have highlights in my hair so I do think that this one will be really good for me I do try to use a heat protector and I like when it's like a little primer stuff like this I also got the hyaluronic treatment lotion from scalp to ends nourishment six oil blend for dry to very dry hair again I don't really have that but I still think that I could benefit from it okay work into damp hair and air dry or heat style or smooth through dry air for finish. Oh, okay, and you can also apply it to the scalp. That's interesting, I'm definitely gonna be trying it out. I love trying hair products as well because who doesn't want nice hair? I also got, this package is a little bit like, <laughs> it's been through a lot. This is the Naturium Retin Retinol Dehyde Cream Serum, 0.5%. Is 0.5% hybrid gel serum emulsion 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 so hard to say in English that visibly combats fine lines and even skin tone and texture. I could be about that. Am I supposed to use this? How am I supposed to use this? I will say there are some skincare brands that really my skin really likes it. Naturium and Glow Recipe, two of those brands, works really good. Also, uh, Peach and Lily, Peach and Lily, I think they're called that, also works really, really good. To use, shake, apply, and even layer onto face, neck, and chest. Avoid eye area. For best results, follow with moisturizer. Oh, I love a serum that's like a gel texture, that's like this, that you don't have to like, that's not too liquidy. I love that. So this is a pump. <gasps> okay, we're definitely using this one i already i'm loving how they're describing the texture and how to use it so this is the pr box that i got from smashbox then with the concealer that i uh, did end up buying myself i do appreciate getting pr from smashbox but i don't think that these are going to be things that i use because like i've already started using this one i've tried before and i don't know I did declutter it but i don't know why should i give it another chance healthy glow all in one tinted moisturizer light medium which should be my shade but again their shade range seems to be leaning a little dark so we'll see and they sent me two of these oh let me put this down two of these uh concealer pens which one did i have okay so i have the one in l20 n which is neutral and this is of course the darker one i'm guessing they think i should use this as contour I have no idea. This is the T20N. I'm guessing tan. And then they sent me the L30 neutral, which is like way too dark. Way too dark. I'm just, I'm confused. How is this a light? Am I confused? I don't understand. I feel confused. Maybe I'm missing something, but yeah, I will say they seem to be, their light seem to be a little darker than I'm used to light being, but I didn't dislike the formula. I thought the formula was really nice. I just think that they're going to be too dark for me to use as a concealer, but maybe it could be one of those because I think you can use it like all over your face and I can just have it like a thin, I don't know, skin tint, but also if it's too little, like I said with the... Uh, the one from uh, Glossier, if it's like too little, then I might as well just do, do moisturizer and be done with it because like, it's not me, it's not my journey. I also did get some skincare from Clarin and this is the Double Serum Hydric Lipic As Lipidic System. And I also got a Total Eye Lift. I Are these any good? Have you tried these? I don't know, should I be trying these? Let me know. I really have liked the lip products that I've tried from Clarins that they sent to me. I just have never dived into their skincare whatsoever. So I got these and I was like, I don't know really what to do with them. Wait, I got some stuff here. But let me show you what I got. 
I got this box from Murad and they sent me a bunch of different skincare and they did ask me about like my skin concerns and I said that I have some fine lines and I do have somewhat like combo oily skin and that I sometimes have problem with texture. Not that I like have acne, but sometimes I need a little, I don't know, peel, chem chemical peel, but like make it nice. Because I would never do one of those chemical peels that just leaves your face. I've seen so many of those go like totally like taking a turn. I could never do that. But also it's like my skin is, I, I like, why would I do that? But like we have the Retinol Youth Renewal Serum target, Targeted Wrinkle Corrector, the AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. That seems really nice. And Water Gel. Ooh, I love a gel moisturizer. So there are some really fun things here. There's also a broad spectrum SPF 50 in here, which is really nice. So I am intrigued in this. Thank you so much, Murad, for sending this over. I am excited to be trying it out, especially that gel. There is so much skincare that I want to be trying. I need to be a skincare babe now. Okay, one more big PR package. That one is from Kaleidos. They sent me this big collection. This is the latest collection that they did. And I did do a dedicated video on this one. I will leave that down below in case you're interested in seeing my thoughts on all of these. Uh, I know there's like the, the internet has been divided into team uh, pro the blushes and anti the blushes. I am team. I think they're pretty. I just wish that they would fit more people. That's where I'm at. And I actually did talk to Kaleidos behind the scenes and gave them some like my feedback on it because I said like the quality is beautiful I just wish the blushes would fit more people and they thanked me for the feedback so I I think that any constructive criticism can be given if you just do it out of love and I do because I love this brand I really do the lip glosses are so good I do have a well you can see that in the video as well down below I'm swatching all of them if you want to see them on my lips they're so nice. They're definitely the star of this collection. I think they're amazing. Now here's a brand that I have never tried out and this is Flower Nose. And they asked me if they could send me PR and they sent me a full collection. And this collection also has one of those super, super light blushes. So I don't think I'll be even trying them because they just don't show up on me. Uh, they just don't show up on me. I'm sorry. And people are like, oh, you can use it as a matte highlighter. These kind of shades that are very white based, they just look a little dusty when you do have a little bit of a golden undertone. I don't like them on me. I will say that this one has a little bit m No, it doesn't. Oh my God, it's so light. Uh, I was going to say, this had a little bit more color. No, it doesn't. It's also super, super light. It's one blush. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to use this unless I use it as a matte highlighter. But I would never use a pink as a matte highlighter on my non-pink skin. It's just not the look that I'm after. But if you are, I will say the packaging seems really pretty. What I am the most intrigued by, I think it's this one. Or is it... It might be this one. Hold. Look at this little eyeshadow palette. It's so cute. And there is some blue in here. It's a cool toned, like, taupey palette with a matte blue and two shimmery shades. And honestly, I think that this is where we're going to start. Also, the lip products look absolutely beautiful. But yeah, let me know if you're interested in hearing what you, what, like, what I think about this. I've heard really nice things about their quality. So I am intrigued to be diving in. I just don't think that that blush will be for me because it's very, 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 very light pink. But overall, I mean, presentation... 12 out of 10. And the last thing that we have is that Nabla sent me the Liberty X system. So they said they were gonna send me this um, a while ago and then they actually wrote me about a week ago, a week and a half ago when you're seeing this and they're like, we are so sorry that your package didn't arrive. We're having some problems with international shipping. I mean, nobody owes me anything. If I get PR, I'm excited. If I don't get PR and I want it, I'll just buy it. But I actually did not end up buying this because I was waiting for it to hopefully come to Ulta, but I'm guessing maybe it won't. But they did now send it to me and it is the small palette. So this is the Liberty X system. I'm thinking I might do like a reel or something with this, like showing you how it looks, but I haven't taken the plastic off. So it is just this little system where you can have either these four pen palettes and they also have a bigger one that looks, oh, it's here on the side, hold. That looks like this. This still has the plastic on it as well, where you can put, I'm guessing, either the whole collection or at least bigger parts of the collection. And then the shadows, 
for me come like this in the PR package, just like in the middle and every shadow ooh, is in individually packed like this. I have not opened it yet, but like one of the shadows is this color and this is a matte one and this one has like sparkles on it. So this is going to be a sparkly one. And then there are, I think one or two like multichromes in here. You can see they have like different um, like labels but overall i'm very excited to be like trying this one out to see what this is all about i'm trying to get this back in hello i just don't know if i'm able to do like a dedicated video right now because like i said i'm going to disney with friends and then there are some really really fun stuff happening just after disney as well that's going to take up a lot of my time but i want to do something because i do really like the nabla eyeshadows and i'm very excited to have all of them so again give me some thoughts give me some suggestions what would you like to see because a bunch of these packages that I haven't had time to dig into are packages that got to me at the end of this week. So I haven't had time to like either do something or like make up my mind about them. So I am definitely open for suggestions. I'm filming this on a Friday, by the way, and you're seeing it the upcoming Monday. But yeah, that was everything that I had to show you. Let's dive into the numbers. I actually sat down and did the little math thing now. Um, and I realized there was a couple of things that I forgot to show you that was included in the math, but I, for one reason or another, had put them in a different part of my makeup room. So I forgot to show you. One of them being that I actually did buy this LYS setting spray. This is the Natural Finish Skin Loyalty. And this is meant to be a blurring, elongating, and like mattifying spray. And it has a really nice sprayer. Like you. Could you see that? I don't know. Smells fresh and skin carry. And I will say, sprayer of this is beautiful. So far, I really enjoy it. So I will be using it a bit more before I review it, of course. But so far, so good. And I really like the claims of this one. Another thing that I bought, and this is... A million percent I blame Lauren May Beauty. I bought this out of her recommendation. We were, she was showing it on her stories and we were talking behind the scenes and I love and she loves the scent of banana. And I love the scent of artificial banana. So I bought this one from Ulta and when I was going through my receipts, I was like, oh yeah, I bought this one. This one is living in my, like, of course, in my bathroom because I've been using it a lot. This is the Hemp's Sugared Banana and Vanilla Blossom uh, Body Wash. Love it. It smells like banana. It smells like, because of the vanilla, it smells like banana marshmallows. In Sweden, banana marshmallows, uh, we call them foam bananas. <laughs> it's a very popular candy, is it? I mean, it's been around since my mom was a kid. It has to be popular, right? And this one smells like that. And then we have the same scent. And this is the sugared banana and vanilla blossom herbal body butter. And this is a body butter that's in a squeeze. So it is not as thick as some body butters. It feels a little bit more like a mix between a body butter and a body lotion. It is thicker for sure. You have to work it into your skin. It really is moisturizing and it smells wonderful. My husband was like, you smell like candy and I'm not sure I like it, but I like it. It smells like banana candy and I am a big fan and they're fairly affordable. And this is a limited edition scent and I will leave it down below. If you also like the scent of banana, definitely recommend, especially for something like this, just body wash and body lotion that we eventually like go through. So really do enjoy them. And I wanted to let you know that those were also included in the sum that I've did because I did buy these and I actually really, really do enjoy them. So in August of 2022, I spent $818.95 on Makeup and Beauty for my channel, like stuff to review. And it was basically, I bought the two palettes from Give Me Glow. I bought the Strawberry Feels collection by Jacqueline Cosmetics. Who remembers that liquid lipstick? Absolutely crazy. I made an order from Auric. Uh, I bought, ooh, I bought a couple of things. Well, quite a few things for that sum of money, of course. And I also made a big order from REM Beauty. This is the first time that I tried out REM Beauty and I made a big order just trying out a bunch of things. And well, it's almost full circle because I bought the foundation in this, this year, one year later. And I actually do enjoy quite a few things from REM Beauty. I think they have pretty decent stuff. So this year in August of 2023, I spent $661, which of course, still is a lot of money. I'm definitely not like 
living the makeup frugal life but i am spending less than i did last month and i am having a little bit more of a gap this month than i had last month if you missed last month's haul uh, you can definitely check that one out so i am feeling pretty confident in this number because i also will say all of the things that i bought unless i'm lying I think so at least. All of the things I bought, except of course the Grease collection that I literally got yesterday, I have like did done something with. I have reviewed it, I, I have a plan to do something with it and that was the main thing for me. I don't want to be overwhelmed. I don't want to buy more things that I can use so that I don't end up wasting money on stuff for my channel that actually never makes it to my channel because that is wasteful that is wasteful for me and everybody needs to figure out for themselves what is wasteful for you because if you don't have a youtube channel of course it could be wasteful for you to just buy stuff that you never use or that you never enjoy or that you don't get good usage out of but when you're doing it as a career when you're doing it at on youtube like i'm trying to find out what's the best product for you like i'll try 10 eyeshadow palettes so that you can find the one for you i'm not telling you that oh you also should buy 10 eyeshadow palettes i'm trying to try them all so that i can figure out which one is best for you because i would hate for someone to spend their hard-earned money on something that they didn't like because who likes that so instead i'll take one for the team and i'll buy stuff that doesn't work out for me so that at least i can maybe help you to avoid some of the not so amazing launches out there i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know like i said let me know your thoughts down below and yeah tomorrow tomorrow i'm having a live so if you want to be a part of that i don't know exactly what time it is happening but i will be announcing it somewhere it will either be in your description feed or it will be on my channel what time i'm going live but that's what's happening tomorrow i hope you're having an amazing day and i will see you live tomorrow bye